Hello, Sons. How's it going? Hi, I'm I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So let's jump right into this. Uh, learning being casted in this film is one big, big exciting news. When did it really hit that you was in a uh, Ghostbusters film? Honestly, I think it really hit. Uh, I arrived in Calgary where we shot the film, and we had a cast dinner. Um, like the the weekend before we were about to start like rehearsals and shooting and everything and I was sitting at the table and I literally I was sitting next to Ivan Reitman and Finn Wolfhard and then uh, Jason was in front of me and it was just like the most incredible group of people to be sitting at a table <laughs> and having dinner with I was like Oh my God, it hit me then for the first time and then for the second time when I actually got on set and saw all the gadgets and everything. <laughs> awesome, yeah. awesome. Speaking of the gadgets, what was it, the feeling that, you know, when you touched the proton packs and seeing Ecto-1, could you describe that feeling? Yeah, it was amazing. I, I stepped into one of the sound stages and, and Jason kind of took us on a tour of of the prop world and, and we saw the props guys um, making the gadgets and like hand painting things and screwing things wow. and it, it was r really cool to see the process of how, how they were working on things and and um, so I, I saw the Ecto-1 for the first time in, in that space and it was just, it was surreal. It, it was incredible. I was like, this is, <laughs> this is the one from the movie that I saw when I was a little kid. So it was just, it was incredible. <laughs> now, representation is a big deal now and it, of course always has been a big deal. And uh, in the Ghostbusters franchise, some of the characters, yeah. representation is a big deal and um, mm -hmm. And there was some, there's been some issues with characters and uh, black characters in Ghostbusters films, but I'm happy to say that it wasn't a problem with your character, Phoebe. What do you hope young black and brown boys and girls get from when they see your character on the big screen in the Ghostbusters movie? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think it was really important to me to be a part of this film as a young black woman specifically because I think I, I love sci-fi and I love fantasy in, in the sense that it kind of gives us permission to use our imaginations and kind of dream dream bigger and, and look towards the future and look towards the worlds that we want to build for ourselves as people of color and that's like something I love about, about sci-fi, it kind of gives us a room to use our imagination in like a really powerful and creative way. And I think that um, it, it was just an honor to be a part of this story. And I just want younger people, even kids younger than me to know like, anybody can be a Ghostbuster and especially young black kids like, use your imagination, cherish your imagination. Like it's literally what has kept me going and I think it's what the world needs. And, and not that, I don't think that young black kids have to be everything to the world and I don't think we need to save the world and I don't think we need to be extraordinary. I think we just need to be able to feel free and have fun and use our imagination. And that's, that's what I did here and that's what I hope that other um, young black kids do all the time. <laughs> Great answer, I appreciate that. And finally, mm -hmm. um, the Ghostbusters song is a classic song, and in the song, Ray Parker Jr. says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Now, your Phoebe is very adventurous, and she wasn't afraid to, you know, encounter ghosts. Now, in real life, if you stayed at a haunted house, would you be that brave? And also, would you uh, say, uh, have you ever had a paranormal experience in your life? <laughs> My character, Lucky, is badass. She she definitely sorry. excuse me, sorry. <laughs> she definitely yeah, goes goes after those ghosts. She's not afraid. But I uh personally would be out of there. I would just have <laughs> mine in my own business. I would have gone back to the diner, I would have made myself a burger and let other people deal with that. Cause I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And you've never never had a paranormal experience in your life ever yet? I never have. I never have. But honestly, if I did, I would just let the ghost do its thing. I would be like, you know what? Make yourself <laughs> at home. Make something to eat. Like, have my bed. Take it. Like, I'll just be out of your way. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's the answer I was expecting. Perfect right? answer. You was, you was phenomenal in the film. The film was great. Man, I, I hope they make another one with you guys. You guys have got are taking this franchise to another level. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much.
You're Means welcome. A lot. You're very welcome.